Welcome to my third video segment in, in my own piano industry. My name is Joe, and um, we are going to talk about coincident partials and how they have, how they make the sound better. So I'm going to pick any two notes, any fifth, and then I'm going to I'm going to push the keys down without playing the notes, and we'll see if we can hear a partial in this note. So here. So it's very little partial there, so I was able to hear that, but I don't know if you could on the camera. So, so we'll pick a different partial. So we'll use F sharp 3 and B2. So I'm going to push the keys down without playing them, and then I'm going to hit F sharp 4. You can hear that partial loud and clear, so that means it's a good partial. So there's no beat, which means it's beatless. So we're going to play that again. And there's your coincident partial for this, these two notes. So it makes a pretty good sound. I mean, that's actually a good partial. And now we're going to pick this one and try it. So there's a little bit of a beat there. So you can barely hear it, and then here, you can hear it. So that's what coincident partials sound like. And we're going to see if we can find another good partial. And then, in our next video, we're going to talk about how the pedals work. Which we'll do in just a minute. So coincident partials are basically when you pick a fifth, whether it's like a, like a sharp note, like this one, with this one, so it's still considered a fifth in the B major scale. So it goes B, C sharp, E flat, no, B, C sharp, D sharp, E and F sharp, or if it were the flats, it would be B, D flat, E flat, E, and then F, G flat. This is what it would sound like. But thank you for watching. That was our video segment number three.